All right, phase 12, which is the last phase. I'm sure everyone is tired. <laughs> and okay, so let's go through this one. This one should be a quick one. So for Canary deployment, what's gonna happen is we have version 1.0 running for our front end. And with a Canary deployment, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna deploy version 2.0, run side by side. And right here, you can see that we should be seeing the, the, the version 2.0 running as well as the five containers. And then after that, if I confirm that everything is okay, I'm just gonna switch. And then Nomad is gonna deploy version 2.0 for these five containers, and then it's gonna shut down the version 1.0. Let's see how we can do that. Last phase. Let me go back. So we need to change, we need to change the front end. And basically, um, underneath scaling, we're gonna have update. So that's the that's the the stanza update. And according to the challenge, we have to set up a few things. So let's start with max parallel. So I want just one at a time. If I go back to the challenge, there's gonna be a an explanation of what what that is. Yeah, so the maximum number of allocations within a task group can be that can be updated at a time should be one. So it's gonna happen one by one. Then after that, there is the minimal health time. So that means no man is or no matter console needs to wait at least five seconds. So healthy underscore time equals five seconds. And that should not take more than 30 seconds. So the healthy, it's called deadline so healthy deadline that should be 30 seconds so it should take between 5 and 30 seconds that's that's what it means the next is the auto revert so if something goes wrong i don't want this to be auto reverted like maybe, maybe i want to check it to see what's happening right so i want i want the canary to be right there even though something might fail if you put true then it, sh uh, it should you know roll back automatically so for, for this challenge should be false. And then another thing is that auto promotion. So if something goes, goes, I mean, everything goes right. And I don't want, I don't want to auto promote. I want myself to be able to take a look at it, right? So may, maybe I have like a, a quality team or something like that. I want them to be able to take a look at it. And then I'm going to decide when I'm ready to, to roll out the new, the new version. So that's why auto promote is going to be false. Then lastly, we have Canary. And Canary is basically how many how many copies you want. And I just want one copy for version 2.0. So that's why I'm going to specify Canary equals one. That's one thing we need to do. So define the update update stanza. The second thing we need to do is to change the image for the front end. So right now is the latest, which is, let's say, version 1.0. But I want to run 2.0. So I'm just going to change this to, to 2.0. The rest should be the same, so I'm not going to touch anything else. Let's do plan and run. So nomad plan front end dot nomad. OK, and if we take a look at it, so let's see what's going to change. So a canary is going to be added and five is going to be ignored. Yeah, so that means I'm not I'm not promoting anything. That's why you you're you're gonna see one canary being added. And then we have all the other properties, and also for the image is going from the Dojo Series front end to the Dojo Series front end 2.0. Yeah, so that's that's what's what's being changed. Okay. Then the next thing is to do run front end dot nomad. I go back to the client and I do a docker docker ps we should we should see let's see here it's not yet so we have Fabio and all the five front ends let's do docker ps again here oh yeah they're here here at the top let me let me bring this up oh actually split if I can bring it back here. Anyway, I, I think you can see. So I don't I don't have to, to pull it up too much. But right here at the top you have the Dojo series slash front end 
and it's running well five seconds ago probably more at this point so that means we have the 2.0 version running now the test to make sure that this is working so the task would be at yeah, first to make sure that the container is running then we need to go to the nomad client and load the front end and here i might have a, uh, a funny behavior which i'm going to explain what's happening but i know that some other people didn't didn't get it now what i need to do is i need to reload until i see version 2 yeah because basically now we have six running six containers so if i reload once and uh, what's gonna change is the uh, the title at the very top. So it's gonna go from that weird string to this is version two. We still see the weird string at the top. Let me reload again. All right, there you go. So you see this is version two and this is our canary working. Yeah, so this is our canary working. You see that it, it took a little bit for, for me to get there. And that's just because Fabio is, is uh, load balancing the traffic. So the first, I think four times that I run, it went to version 1.0. But then after that, it went to version 2.0. And if I reload this, I believe it's going to go back to version 1.0. It's still version 2. I'm going to try one more time if it doesn't work. Okay, there you go. So that's version 1.0. Okay, so we know that our canary is up and running. It's running in parallel. And now it's time to promote the canary. So we, we made sure that everything was working. We're happy with version 2.0. Now let's just promote the canary. To promote the canary, we're gonna do nomad job promote and then the job name. So let's go back to our terminal. This is the, the client. This is the server, so I'm gonna do nomad. Actually, let me do a status. Let's, let's take a look at how, how this looks. Yeah, so you see that we've got five version six and one which is version seven. So this is our our canary. And in the deployed section, you see the task group is front end. Promoted is false. So that means we have a canary running, but we, we haven't promoted yet. And then under under canaries, we have one. So that shows us that that one canary is running. So now I'm gonna do nomad job promote front end and what that should do is to tear down all of the 1.1 containers and spin up five copies or I guess in this case maybe four copies of the 2.0 just it's gonna make sure that there is five copies of 2.0 let me clear and do a docker ps okay so we see two of them so one was three minutes ago which was the first one that I deployed this one 14 seconds, but there's still three copies of that 1.0. Okay, hopefully last one. All right, so now we see five containers running of 2.0, which is great. So let's go back to our interface and reload this. So we see this is version two. Now if I load it again, I'm gonna do one more time could do five times, six times. It should always show this is version 2.0 or this is version two. There we go, so we still have it. That means that our five containers are running. And last thing, I'm just gonna go to the Fabio interface and take a look at what we have there. So let's just load this and we won't be able to see uh, much. So if, if I click this, it's gonna try to open on the browser, which is not gonna work because it's a private IP address. But basically we can see that all five containers are running. And if you even compare the port, the port would be different. So now, now it's running on different ports. But what tells us that this is actually working is that when we run the front end, or when we load the front end, we can see this is version two at the very top. All right, so that was, yeah, that was it. That was the definition of done of phase 12. So we're done. <laughs> I, uh, I hope you really enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned that I'm going to be announcing a course here on, on Twitch in, in October around infrastructure as code. So if you're interested in learning how, you know, like Terraform, Vault, uh, uh, Ansible, Packer, all these tools, how they work together. So stay tuned on, on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be announcing the course very soon. 
and after ev every dojo this is what i'm going to be doing as well so i'm going to be going over over the solution and explaining how to, how to build it so yeah so thank you very much for for joining uh until until late or i don't know what time zone you are but yeah so hopefully i'll see you in, in the next time take care bye bye